Hey guys, I wanted to make a video today, and, and much like several of the videos I've made in the last couple of months, I want to gear this video not towards people who are necessarily my subscribers or who, who are pro-gun or pro-Second Amendment or pro-Constitution the way I am, but I want to gear this video more towards people who are the opposite of that. Or maybe they're just in the middle. Maybe they're just indifferent to the whole issue of, of gun control in the Second Amendment. Maybe they're just blatantly anti-gun. See, there's a lot of stuff going on right now with gun control. It's a very big, hot topic right now. And because of that, it's all over the news. People are talking about it. A lot of emotions on both sides of this issue. But there's a lot of other things that are going on right now and have been going on for some time that are also very important. And they directly relate to gun control, to how we should respond and react to our government wanting more gun control. Things like the Patriot Act, which allows American citizens to be spied on by their own government without any sort of warrant. The NDAA, which allows for indefinite detention of American citizens without true justification from a court system that just allows them to detain U.S. citizens if they feel they need to. Or things like the laws that were recently passed that prohibit people from going and protesting and speaking freely. Freedom of speech in certain areas when certain people are around. Certain government buildings or certain politicians are protected from our free speech. These are all rights that are being restricted severely restricted by our own government. And because of these things, we should be very careful on how we react to our government wanting to enact gun control. You see, I know a lot of people don't believe in guns out there. A lot of people don't think there's anything wrong with more gun control. They think less guns, less crime. And I understand that thinking. I don't agree with it, but I at least understand it. I understand where you're coming from. But what we have to take into consideration is, is something more important than just the, the gun crimes that are committed every year. It's a tragedy whenever there's a life lost. But what's more a tragedy is when a government, through its own actions and through its tyrannical nature, can cause even more damage, not just to a person, but to society as a whole. And it does this by restricting rights. You see, there's an old saying that came out after World War II. And it said something along the lines of, when they came for the communists, I didn't speak up because I wasn't a communist. When they came for the trade unionists, I didn't speak up because I wasn't a trade unionist. When they came for the socialists, I didn't speak up because I wasn't a socialist. Then they came for the Jews, and I didn't speak up because I wasn't Jewish. And then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak up for me. And that's what we're talking about here. You see, our rights are slowly being stripped away. And whether or not you personally agree with a certain right that you have, it's your choice to ignore that right and not to, to partake in that particular right. But do you really want the government coming along and stripping it away? They've already started with, with being able to detain us. They've, they've started with our right to not have ourselves spied on, to not be infringed upon in our ability to, to have privacy from our own government. They've already infringed upon our right to free speech. Now they want to infringe upon our right to keep and bear arms. Now at this point, you have to step in. You have to say, do I want to continue to allow more and more rights to be affected until finally it affects you personally? Or do you want to stand up now and say, I'm not going to allow this to continue. I'm going to continue to fight for rights even if I don't agree with them. It's something you need to think about. Because it's just another right being taken down. It's just another domino in the long line of dominoes waiting to fall. Are you going to continue to allow the government to keep pushing and pushing and pushing and infringing more and more rights until you no longer have the right to, to go outside and speak a sentence without being told what you can or can't say? To go out and think a certain thing? Have we really come to George Orwell's 1984? Because it may be on its way there right now. And yes, I know it's an extreme view. I understand we're not there yet, but how many more dominoes need to fall before we get there? This is why you need to be concerned. This is why you need to stand up now, even if you aren't pro-gun. You need to care about your rights, because maybe it's my rights that I care about now, but tomorrow it could be something you care about. 